today we are going to do a picture of Van Gogh's wheat fields. Um, everyone's going to get a brown piece of paper and a blue piece of paper. The first thing we're going to do is take our blue piece of paper and we're going to just on the very, very bottom edge, we're going to do one line, just the thickness of the glue stick across the bottom. So not any more than that, okay? We're not going all the way up. We're doing one line across the bottom. And then we're gonna flip it over and put it, so it's about, do you guys see? It's about a little, a little wider than what we just did for glue, down and glue it together. So we basically just, I'm gonna flip it over so you can see. We just glued our papers together so that we've got blue on the top and brown on the bottom. Then we are going to take a pencil, grab one, and I know it's blurry, write our name on the back. So I'm gonna write Sarah, because my name is Sarah, Leonetti. And then I'm gonna do a circle and I'm gonna put my group number in there. I know you guys can't see that. Let me see if I can zoom in there. A circle with whatever my group number is in it, okay? So if you guys are group one, put group one. If you're group two, put group two. Then you flip it over and put your pencil away. We do not need our pencil. Um, and your glue stick is put away. Remember to scroll, roll it back down. We never roll it past that, you guys. You never need it up higher, than, really higher than that. Don't roll it all the way up. That's how you break them. Only roll it up to here to glue and then roll it down right below the line, snap the cap back on. Now I've run out of a lot of my glue sticks, so you're gonna have to share. If your glues are empty, I don't have any more. I've ordered more, but you might have to share at your table. Okay, so then the table leaders are gonna go get oil pastels. We're gonna be using orange, brown, yellow, white, and black today. There should be enough that everyone gets their own set. Okay, we're gonna start off with the white. So the other ones can be put aside. This blue is on top because it's our sky. And we're gonna go to the right side, not all the way at the top, not in the corner, floating kind of in the middle of the blue on the right side. And we're gonna do a circle for our moon. So you can do a small moon if you want. You can do a half moon if you want. I'm doing a full moon, but again, you get to decide you're the artist. So if you wanna do a crescent moon, which is kind of a, you know, a half moon, you can do that. Okay, once I fill it in, I might do some little swirls around it to make it look like the moon is shining. Then, I'm gonna try and keep it focused, okay. Once we've done our moon, we can put our white away. We don't need it anymore. We're gonna take our brown and we're gonna do the dirt path, the little dirt road, okay? Now, because of perspective, the further away, the further back in the painting it goes, the skinnier the road is gonna get. So we're actually gonna start at the back. This is the horizon line, which means that's the line where the wheat fields disappear, okay? so. We're gonna start by doing a little line in the center, and then I'm gonna measure over two fingers from that little line. So two fingers together, push it next to that line, and make another little mark. That's how wide our road is gonna be at um, the back. At the front, it's gonna be pretty big. We're gonna measure over four fingers from the edge. So I put four fingers together, I press it over to the edge right here, and I make a little line on the bottom of the paper where those four fingers are. Then I'm gonna go over maybe five fingers, a whole hand. So my thumb is hitting the edge of the paper, my whole hand, and I make the other mark. Now, I'm gonna make this road curve a little bit. So it's gonna go over and meet up with that mark. Over and meet up with this mark. Okay, so that's gonna make it look like it's going back in space, 
okay? Then we get to color it in. When we color, don't do any side to side brush strokes. Color the direction of the road. So if the road is going this way, we're coloring that way. We, when the road curves, we color that curve, okay? Color the direction that the road goes. So none of this, always going slow and curving when the road curves. It doesn't need to be perfect because it is a dirt road, so it's, not, it's gonna be a little, a little messy, right? Dirt roads aren't perfectly, perfectly neat, but we're gonna try and get it colored in the best we can. I'm gonna do this really fast so that we can move on. Take a little bit more time than I'm doing. If you need to tear the paper off your oil pastel, you can. Okay, now once my dirt road is in, we can start doing little strokes of wheat. So it's just going to be lines. Now, the further up front, the bigger they're gonna be. The further to this blue line, the smaller they're gonna be. Again, that's gonna make it look like those little pieces of wheat are really far away. So tiny wheat in the back, little short pieces of wheat, medium in the middle, big in the front. Am I doing wheat everywhere? No. No, my whole page isn't covered in wheat. It's just a little bit. Now everywhere where I've done the brown, I'm gonna go back and add some orange around it. Again, small in the back, medium in the middle of this brown piece of paper, and long, tall pieces in the front, closest to us. This is closest to us. This is furthest away from us back here. Then we're gonna add some yellow. So we're just adding Color. I'm going to add a lot of yellow, kind of everywhere. Remember, little in the back. Okay, now that we have that done, we can do our crows. We can add our crows wherever we want. We want some on the wheat, some in the sky. It's going to be kind of like an M, just a curve. Okay, I know that's kind of hard to see. We can make it a little thicker if we want. Some are gonna be tilted that way. Some might be this way. Some are big, some are small. One might be going across that moon. You can add as many as you want. 